Emissary. We are here at the famous Petra, man. One of the seven wonders of the world. And we're gonna share with you all the tips that you're gonna need to come and visit, man. And there's so much history and things to do here and a lot of tips from our tour guide. So it's definitely gonna come in handy when you come and visit yourself. So let's get into it. The archeological site of Petra is known as a complex of ancient ruins that was discovered in the middle of a desert canyon and is one of the most famous sites in all of Jordan. The Nabetan city of Petra is also known as the Rose Red City and is over 2,000 years old. It was recently rediscovered by a Swiss explorer in 1812 and has been known as a UNESCO World Heritage Site ever since. It's also one of the seven wonders of the world and home to some of the best man-made structures on earth. So once you get inside here, you can find all these stores and shops. Be sure to use the bathroom because the walk to the main site, the treasury, is about two kilometers. So maybe like over a little bit over a mile. So you won't find a bathroom in between then. I think there's one after that. So just on the walk to there is a little bit far, but there's so much to see. The main takeaways here, basically do not trust the locals. Everyone's gonna try to rip you off and sell you shit. And just say no to everything and also say no to the animals. You can ride like a horse or a donkey um, through and get to the Petra, but uh, our tour guide recommended to just avoid that because people actually fall off stairs and get hurt all the time. So it's definitely just not worth it. And save all your shopping for somewhere else. Don't waste your time because uh, this tour, I think we're only spending about five or six hours here. Uh, so not that much time in Petra. So you definitely want to spend it sightseeing and not wasting time. So. Oh, there's one more thing to note that the tickets, I think around $70 or something like that, but with the Jordan Pass, everything is included. So definitely be sure to have that. I'll have also a link to the Jordan Pass in the description below so you can get your entrance to Petra. So let's go. So Petra is about three hours away from Amman City. So there's a few options to get there, either by renting a car, taking a public bus, or by signing up for a tour. I highly recommend signing up for a tour. That's exactly what we did. And it included a round trip transportation to Petra and access to a few other famous landmarks uh, across the country. I'll have a link to that in the, the description below so you can check that out. The best time to visit Petra is gonna be during the shoulder seasons or during winter because the summer is just way too hot. Often has temperatures of over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, even when we went during May, we were still really sweating during the walk because there's a ton of walking. So we highly recommend going when it's not as hot. And like I mentioned earlier, you can buy your ticket at the gate or with the Jordan Pass ahead of time online, but just be sure to bring your passport along with you. The first section to access Petra is known as the Sikh, which is a natural sandstone gorge that uh, stretches about 1.2 kilometers. You walk through the rift of soaring canyon walls for about 20 minutes to arrive at the main site of the treasury. Treasury was originally named Al Kazna and is magnificently carved into the side of a cliff wall. So after about like a mile walk through this canyon, we finally reached the treasury. Oh man, it's, it is insane. This thing is so beautiful. The mountains around are so high. Like this is definitely one of the top wonders to see and I highly recommend it. There's also way more to see in the Nabetan city. So let's get to exploring. The original purpose remains a mystery lost to the transcripts of times. However, legend states that it was the hiding place for an Egyptian pharaoh's secret treasure.
we just finished our tour of Petra. What do you think? It's amazing. Um, a lot of walking. It's really hot, but it's all worth it. Yeah, definitely can understand why it's one of the seven wonders of the world. This place is incredible. Yeah, and if you're coming to Petra, be sure to have an entire, entire day spent to do this because you really need a lot of time, man. This place is insane. Like Petra basically is the entire rock city and the treasury is just the most famous part. But to get to even cooler place, it's very similar to the treasury. It's called the monastery, but it's all the way to the top. You gotta take, you know, 900 steps to get there. So definitely a lot of walking and it's really hot. So I would not recommend coming here in the summer or anything like that. But either way, it's definitely one of my favorite wonders of the world, man. So glad we got to check this off on one of the best things to do in Jordan. So hope you guys liked and uh, stay tuned because we got way more awesome adventures through Jordan. It's gonna be sick, so I'll see you later. Peace out. Petra by night is an evening spectacle where the treasury glows from the light of over a thousand candles. The event includes a low budget performance and a tea for about 25 US dollars. It's available Monday, Wednesday and Thursday nights and starts at 8.30 and lasts for about two hours. So is it worth it? We asked a lot of people and they said it was a bit underwhelming and just very dark. But it could be a cool experience if you're looking for a new way to see Petra and if you get a hotel nearby because the drive back's going to be far. So.